like an egg in a trash compactor. Out. Knock him dead. Another seed is about to sprout here. Be ready for it. I'm out. Let us capture this mercenary camp. This time, do this what is must be done. My terrors! Knockout spree! Pick yourself a talent now! My children have fallen. I hope their sacrifice was worth it. They liked that keep. Mm hmm. And you took it away from us. Victory is near. 
Another seed. I trust you know what to do, heroes. So be it. Kill confirmed. A worthy sacrifice. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be gathering that seed, heroes? This world will burn. Shamblers, they don't feel a thing anymore. Let us capture this mercenary camp. Indeed.
So what content do we need to prepare for reviewers? Yeah, so these are the four key things. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, uh, press release, media kit, product image, video, and sometimes for, for the hero products, okay, we, uh, we also provide uh, internal, okay, performance benchmark uh, for uh, uh, reviewers uh, reference. Yeah, so in case, okay, the results are different. Yeah, so it's a good opportunity to, to see, okay, uh, which part or uh, are, um, makes the differences. And of course, we need to know uh, what are uh, the reviewers' uh, common laptop review elements. Yeah, so from product outside to inside. So for outside, uh, they'll start talking about okay, the product design, uh, the materials that they, they use, and also they'll probably okay want to know how many SKUs do, do we have, what their price, and also if um, their the, uh, audience are interested, uh, where can they buy. So from inside, of course, they can include all the key main uh, components from CPU, GPU, um, RAMs, okay, touchpad, keyboard, uh, audios, and a lot of time, okay, we have our own uh, exclusive okay software uh, that we can highlight and also talk about. And as you know, a lot of the key tech uh, medias, okay, the uh, the reviewers will open the chases, yeah. So try to see, okay, what's inside uh, the the, the the chases and then the show their audience uh, what's the MSI's cooling or thermal solution and uh, what are the component locations yeah, including RAM or um, a storage and even okay talk about the battery life as well yeah so for uh, one thing one key things to remember is that okay for a strategically important product yeah we want to focus on feature uh, benefit advantage yeah not performance. So what comments, okay, do we want to earn? Yeah, so this is probably, okay, the, the, the one thing that, uh, for example, you want to think about, okay, when, before you send, send the product to reviews. Yeah, of course, we want to have earned a good results, even product awards. Yeah, so we want to hear, okay, from the editor, when they talk about the product, okay, we want to hear, hear this uh, or see these uh, keywords, the best, okay, the first, Okay, or uh, or get uh, some good features. Okay, some sub, and of course, if uh, actually the, the the reviewers or editors, they are already a big uh, MSI fans. Well, they'll say, okay, MSI does it again, and then even say, okay, this is the, the ultimate machine you want. So, who are we targeting? Yeah, I earlier I already mentioned. Okay. And it includes okay, uh, tech media, mainstream media, uh, influencer, YouTuber, uh, foreign active users. Yeah. So in the U.S., um, I I regularly go okay, check uh, noblereview.com and also Reddit uh, review uh, Reddit.com. Yeah. So identify those okay uh, power users and see. Um, for example, uh, sometimes you can learn a lot. Okay. Uh, from, from them. So you know, okay, what type of uh, product feature they're looking for, and these are the type of in information yeah, we want to collect and also give feedback to the uh, headquarters product development team. So why uh, working with uh, inferencers? I think there are three main benefits of uh, working with uh, them. So uh, because you know each of them, they, they are targeting to different type of audience. So we are able to increase uh, social media reach and also to be able to build our the brand credits. And also uh, because then their audience are different, so each of them can add a fresh uh, perspective uh, uh, for, for the product. Yeah, some focus on the hardware, some focus on the design, or even okay, some focus on okay, performance. And then we are able to uh, um, reach okay, demographic okay, targeting yeah, so including uh, to include uh, more uh, types of uh, audience. So I want to share with you the where I uh, found uh, for where I found those okay uh, inferencers. Yeah, Google search is always the, the best and also uh, the the easy way uh, to 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 identify them. And then I try social media. 
for example, YouTube, I just type in, okay, certain uh, product series or even, okay, com competitors to the hero product and see which uh, influencer, okay, did the reviews. And of course, there are a few other uh, sites, including um, Basumo uh, and also uh, getlittlebird.com, okay, and, and then try to uh, identify uh, who can be the, the, the right target, okay, to do the review for us. And of course, uh, from time to time, I work with our industry partners, uh, the, the PRT members, and they are able to share the, their the media list. And also, we can uh, when when we launch our, um, for example, when Intel launch okay new CPUs, I work with the, the lo local uh, PRT members. Yeah, so so work with them and to identify key media list, and then uh, we are able to send out the product uh, sample. Uh, to those okay uh, target lists. and of course uh, from competitors website uh, we can see who actually reviewed their products and then okay and then if uh, someone okay we haven't um, uh, uh, reached before so we can add, add them to our media list So this shows you um, when do you request uh, receive and send out product samples. Yeah, ideally, okay, uh, step two months before the D-Day. Yeah, so headquartered uh, team, they start correcting quantity of sample units and review target media lists from, from all regions. Yeah, so we want to um, make sure, um, so basically work with the headquarter team. Yeah, hopefully we can receive the product sample, yeah, three weeks, at least, okay, three weeks before D-Day. So we can have enough time to test the unit uh, even updated firmware and driver, and then give feedback uh, to to headquarters if uh, we we found uh, we find some uh, ident uh, product issues. Yeah, so this uh, pre avoid okay the bad reviews. Okay, uh, later we'll talk about uh, avoid the bad reviews. Uh, we'll see. And then at least okay, keep the reviewers um, or editors okay at least one week to review the unit. So they can have the enough time to write articles or prepare video, and also okay, this gives them enough time to talk to you uh, if they find find some okay product issues. So even okay, look at uh, for example um, the key competitors if they launch a similar products, okay, you need to be able to collect uh, their product review results as well. So highlight all the pros and cons of all product reviews, and then feedback to uh, headquarters and also local PM team. So they are aware of okay what uh, what um, uh, media reviewers are talking about the product, uh, any good things or even okay maybe not so good things. Yeah. Then um, next step, okay, once you receive all the return units, yeah, so you get ready for second wave PR activities. Yeah. So in the later slides, uh, I will give you uh, some of the the uh, the the previous example that I used to to make sure all the progress. Yeah, on uh, track. So this goes to um, why do we send product for reviews? Yeah, so I think there are four key objectives. Yeah, uh, the generate positive brand exposure and uh, product awareness. And the next one is to consumers. Okay, we want to create that kind of a desire to buy and proud to own uh, uh, feelings. And of course, we are hoping that we can um, uh, build our brand trust, okay, through uh, the third parties, and then develop, okay, a good relationship with them. So these are the important things uh, to know about managing PR. Yeah, uh, as a PR team uh, steps, okay, your first and also the most important um, job function is to be able to develop a solid. Um, PR strategy. Doesn't matter if you work with a, a PR agency locally or not. Uh, I think you are the one who um, control all the process, and also uh, your goal is to to generate the more exposure for for the brand and also products. And uh, the second part is uh, know our audience. Yeah, because the MSI has the various the product um, laptop okay product series. Yeah, for example, for the gaming uh, products, we mainly focus on tech and um, gaming media, and we also have a workstation series. Yeah, mainly focus on professional media. And since last year, okay, MSI introduced um, uh, many uh, content creation series. 
Yeah, so we target to uh, different uh, different type of uh, media, including uh, business, finance, uh, even ph photography, uh, video editing as well. Yeah, so besides uh, those um, tech or even okay mainstream media, so uh, from time to time, uh, you probably also work with the uh, the local uh, key opinion leaders or influencers or even YouTubers to get more exposures. And personally, I used to work with a lot of uh, um, foreign active users. Yeah, because they are power users. Uh, they also um, uh, share their uh, uh, product usage the experience the, on uh, user forums. I think they they are they can also be considered as a key opinion leaders. And um, of course, okay, we want to leverage our the industry or even channel partners PR, uh, PR vehicles. Yeah, so in the US, um, for example, Intel, AMD, uh, NVIDIA, or even Microsoft, that these are the key industry partners we regularly work with. And also uh, in the US, Amazon, uh, Newegg, or even uh, BNH, yeah, they have their own marketing vehicles. They also have the um, so-called um, power review um, um, videos, yeah, so they can, um, actually promote the brand and also promote the product okay to their uh, target uh, consumers and another key function okay that uh, every uh, pr uh, team member uh, needs to do is to uh, besides uh, doing product reviews there are other ways of uh, for example uh, getting the brand and also product uh, more uh, product exposures including uh, for example uh, work with the key medias um, the, talking about uh, what's the uh, MSI's uh, new technology or product innovation. And sometimes you can uh, try to arrange the executive interviews okay, with uh, those key media. And then focus on, uh, for example, some other things besides uh, the product feature, benefit, or advantage. I think another important thing uh, to, to do is, okay, always uh, watch okay, what our com key competitors are doing. So here, uh, talk about what are the key responsibility of a PR stat. Yeah, so I, I come up with the 10 uh, key uh, job uh, responsibilities. The first and also the most important one is develop PR strategy uh, in terms of a reach, uh, frequency, and engagement. And of course, once you receive the product, uh, for a product sample from headquarters, uh, doesn't matter if you have a technical background or not. Okay, uh, you need be you still need to be able to test the product, and also give feedback uh, to PM teams. And pre and uh, another key job function is to prepare all the uh, PR materials. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, it includes the press release, uh, review guide, or even uh, some other okay type of uh, materials. Yeah, because the, for tech media and also and for the consumer media. They're, they're the, the type of uh, the product information they need are different. And um, uh, one uh, the, the, the last one, okay, managing uh, manage, okay, marketing product review sample inventory. Yeah, so um, later I give you uh, a good example how we manage okay, the product review sample. Yeah, um, and, and also be able to control the, 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 the cost, okay. And so what products do we focus on? Yeah, so basically I think there are the two types. Yeah, the one we, we call, okay, hero products. Yeah, so to MSI, uh, we have a GT76 Titan and the GS66 Stealth, and of course the latest, okay, G66. And uh, another um, category is the, the what I call strategically important, yeah. Even though maybe the system, the performance-wise, okay, is not um, uh, very powerful, but there are other things uh, that we want to show um, our um, partnership uh, with key industry partners. So here you see, okay, the the, the Bravo 15 uh, um, series. Yeah. So key important thing is okay. How do we select the right product uh, to and target to the right media? And uh, hopefully, okay, we can uh, deliver good uh, product exposure to the radio audience. Yeah, because the, um, we only have limited 
manpower. Yeah, because I know in most country, um, you are probably on, uh, the, the only one who, who manage all the PR activities. Yeah, so we need to be able to set uh, priority 